What's up? I'm Triple Shoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install and use MPT7, a brand new language model, or rather, set of language models with some incredible features, bringing people to it. This video will showcase one of my one-line install commands to make life even easier for you. It'll install Ubabuga Desktop, if not already installed, and download the model right afterwards, multi-threaded, so it downloads a little bit faster than just downloading in Uberburger itself. These scripts take some time to create and of course maintain, so if you find them useful, make sure to click the thanks button or the join button down below. Without further ado, let's begin. What is MPT7? Well, these new language models, yes, models, were released by Mosaic ML. Now, what's interesting about these is that these are trained from scratch. These aren't based on Llama. We have MPT7B, 7B Instruct, 7B Chat, and 7B Story Writer. In the description down below, you'll find these spaces here as well, where we can test these online without the need to download anything. Chat, Instruct, and Story Writer. Story Writer is the most interesting one of all of them. Also, not to mention, because these aren't based on Llama, that means that a whole bunch of legal requirements of what you can and can't use the model for have changed a lot though I won't get into that here. The Story Writer is the most interesting model simply because it can take in 65,000 tokens at a go. What does that mean? Well, as a test, the creators of this can feed in an entire book and ask it a question about the book, ask it to comprehend the book, etc. And it does it. That's unheard of even for ChatGPT. That's more than super exciting, as now we have a free model you can download and run on your own PC that literally overtakes chat GPT in functionality. MPT7B, you'll also find this blog post down below from Mosaic ML. It was trained on a large amount of data, prepared to handle extremely long inputs, which is the interesting point, up to 65,000 tokens, optimized for fast training and inference, and equipped with highly efficient open source training code, MPT base, story writer 65K, instruct, and chat. Scrolling down further, we get this graph here, a maximum input lengths of different LLMs, we have GPT-J, Llama-7B, Stable LM, GPT-4, GPT-432K, which is 32,000 tokens. This one isn't available to the public. This is the GPT-4 you're currently using, with a maximum of just under 10,000 tokens input. This model handles 65,000. Incredible. As you can see here, they fed it the entire Great Gatsby and asked it to write an epilogue. And with comprehension of the entire book, around 67,000 tokens, it was able to create a epilogue featuring points from all over the book, meaning it understood practically everything. That is insane. Now, of course, that being said, they do need quite powerful graphics cards to run, especially if you're going to feed it a ton of tokens, such as the book example. They have demonstrated generations as long as 84,000 tokens on a single node of a 180 gigabyte VRAM GPUs. Note the 80 gigabytes of VRAM, a 100 that is huge. And GPUs, as in plural, well, anyways, what do you need to run this model? Well, for the most part, you probably won't be able to run this model. If you have a 3090 or 4090, you're pretty much set. It'll take around 16 gigabytes of VRAM to run. My 3080, unfortunately, doesn't load it and run it. That being said, however, you can run this in CPU-only mode. I was going to release this video yesterday with my one-line installer, but a fix needed to be made on the Uberbooga desktop GitHub repo before I was able to push it as there was a newly discovered bug that I helped fix. Anyways, how do we go ahead and download this model and set up Uberbooga desktop if we don't already have it? Well, if you've run one of my scripts before, you've already set up Uberbooga desktop and you're probably used to how it works. Simply hit start, type in PowerShell or terminal on Windows 11, right click and run as administrator. Now, if you open up a terminal on Windows 11, just make sure you're using PowerShell. Otherwise, you can select it from the drop down here. Inside of this, all you need to type in is IEX space inside of brackets IRM mpt.tc.ht mpt as in mpt7.tcht as in troubleshoot. You'll find this in the description down below. Upon hitting enter, it'll connect to my server. 
and grab the script from GitHub. It's open source and you can read exactly what it does. Heck, you can even download it if you don't trust it and read through the code yourself. Now, it's already detected that Uberbooga Windows was installed as it was installed previously by one of my scripts. For me, it's located in C, T, C, H, T, which is the default option. And here you can see Uberbooga Windows. I already have the Open Assistant models here as well as Vicuña, but let's get to downloading MPC7. So I'll skip this by entering N, otherwise it'll download and install Uberbooga Desktop, set up the environment, etc. if it's not already done. Right after this, it'll run the update windows.bat file here, which will go ahead and update Uberbooga Desktop to the latest version, which is required for this to work properly, especially if you're using the CPU only mode. Also, that being said, if you're running it in CPU only mode, you won't only need 16 gigs of RAM, you'll need a little bit more. I have a metric ton, so I should be fine. But anyways, we'll get there in just a moment. All right, there we go. I'll press any key to continue as the update is now finished. And now it'll ask us what models would like to download. I don't know why this is sticking at the bottom, but anyways, what model would we like to download? The StoryWriter 65K, Instruct or Chat? Now, previously there was a 4-bit story writer that I included here, and you can find it on the internet. However, it doesn't seem to run with Uberbooga Desktop. Instead, you'll need to run it with Cobalt or a different AI software. These are the original models here, and they're the only ones compatible with Uberbooga Desktop for now. And unfortunately, like the other models, you're not able to split up VRAM usage with normal RAM. It picks one or the other, and that's it. Anyways, I'll download all of these, so I'll enter one and then hit enter and wait for the model to download. If it's already downloaded or partially downloaded, it'll go ahead and download whatever's missing. There we go. Now I'll hit Y to download another model. We'll download number two, for example, which is instruct. And after these files are downloaded and verified, which could take some time depending on your internet speed, as these are 13 gigabytes each. Also a quick note, as I am keeping these up to date for the most part, hopefully when a 4-bit version does arrive that's compatible with Uberbooga Desktop, I will make sure to include it here. But do join my Discord if you'd like updates on it. And finally, I'll download the last model as well, the chat one. Now the differences between these is the chat will give you a chat GBT like experience, story writer and instruct work a little bit differently, so I've set them up to work with the notebook mode instead of chat mode in Uberbooga desktop, but we'll see that in just a moment. All right, there we go. Now quickly a note before you continue, you can use these low VRAM tips here, but unfortunately with this model you'd need a ton of VRAM being around at at least 16 gigabytes. So as in a 3090 plus or a 4090 plus, do you want to run in CPU only mode? If you're like me with a 3080 or anything less, hit Y and enter. There we go. Now, do we want desktop shortcuts? I'll say yes here. It'll download the shortcut from our website, create the shortcuts, and shortly after, they'll appear here. Story writer, instruct, and chat. Now we can choose which one we'd like to start. I'll choose maybe chat. Now the chat model will simply start up, but before it begins, it needs to download an extra package and a note on trust remote code. This model requires trust remote code to load up at all, so I've needed to enable that here. Anyways, now you can see running in local here, we can open it up as usual and start chatting with it. Then this model it does seem to really eat up a ton of space. Here you can see my RAM usage, checking Python here, sorting by memory, it's using around 25 gigabytes of RAM. Now if you're running this in your graphics card, it'll take about 16. Something you can do to help prevent overloading your PC as it will hit your entire CPU at once is find it in the details tab of your task manager with control shift escape, sort by memory, find Python, right click, set affinity and disable it on a few of your processing cores just to make your PC have a bit of power left over. I'll go ahead and disable it on maybe six cores, I think that's six. Okay, and now we can continue. I'll push this to the side so you can see the CPU usage. It really does pin it to the max if you're using CPU only mode, but if I say, hi, how are you, for example, and hit generate, it'll go ahead and generate us a response. I'm doing well today. How can I help you? There we go. Cool. Obviously, this will be a ton faster if you can run this on your graphics card. 
but it's just a normal chat interface for the most part. If we close this and Uberbooker desktop and open up the story writer 65k instead, you'll see that we should have roundabouts the same amount of RAM usage and of course CPU usage as well. If you want to limit how much it hits your PC, you'll need to set the affinity once more. There we go. Now we can open it up and we see something like this. Common sense questions and answers question, factual answer. And this is the notebook mode. I'm pretty sure that above here you can paste in something like a Wikipedia article, a book, etc. And it should try to understand what happens. But just a quick note, the more tokens you give it to work with, the more RAM it will use and VRAM and it can very easily saturate even powerful hardware. This is more of a tech demo than anything really. It's exciting to cover, yes, but it needs insane hardware. Now, at this point, I fed it a poem and asked it to comprehend it, tell me what the poem's about, and it did a pretty good job. It summarized it from start to end, as you'd expect any LLM to do, but unfortunately, my video was corrupt for some reason, and well, you can see here, even though the audio exists, so it was able to be chopped up, well, most of the video is gone after 20 seconds. So instead, we'll skip right to the meat of the video, giving it tons and tons of tokens to work with, up to 65,000. For a good example, I'll be going to Wikipedia and grabbing this article here, 2022 in Science, all the way from the very top of the events section, all the way down this incredibly long Wikipedia article, all the way to the very end, and taking all of this to see what we can get from it. There's a ton of text here, even more than GPT would be able to handle and most other LLMs. So I copied all of the text from the Wikipedia article into Uberbooga, then added questions and answers about the article and asked it what the first event in the list above is, meaning it'll have to go all the way to the top of its memory and pull out the first item. This is a crazy task that most LLMs wouldn't be able to do, but this one is capable of it, and that's the amazing part. However, pasting in 500 different items on this huge list, totaled to around 22,000 tokens, and simply put, my PC did not handle it. It sucked up all 128 gigs of my RAM as it's running in CPU mode, and that was it. It just didn't go any further. So I removed pretty much half of the article, dropping it to around 11,000 tokens, and running it again here. Okay, well, also waiting a bit of time. It's taking a lot of time and a lot of processing power to go through a lot of tokens, in this case, 2,000. Obviously, it'll be infinitely faster on a GPU, but mine can't run it. I was about to say, um, actually, as the first event here is 1st of April, but actually, I've copied in this as well. 3rd of January, all of this here. So, ultimately, it did actually look at what I pasted in and thought about it. Had I posted in 15,000 tokens instead of just 2,000, it should have done the same thing, though obviously the amount of RAM and processing time scales quite crazily. It does work, but it's very, very resource intensive, and unfortunately, 3080s, 7060s, etc. can't run it. It's only 3090s, 4090s with at least 16 gigabytes of VRAM that can do anything useful with these at this current point in time. That being said, they are really good when it comes to quality. Obviously, if you were able to run these properly, and it's actually insane that we've now got our hands on models that are, as they say, easy to train, and of course, aren't running under Llama anymore, meaning that licensing is changed a lot, and you could probably use this for things you could never use those other LLMs for at all. Anyways, for now, it's more of a tech demo. You can download it. Should you have the hardware, I'd love to hear what you get out of it. It's a crazy project with amazing news about what's coming to the future in regards to LLMs and the fact that we've got software right now that overtakes ChatGPT in functionality is absolutely crazy, especially because we can run it on our own PCs, assuming you have the right hardware. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Once again, if you find this install script useful, make sure to click thanks or join down below. My name has been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.